Hello to you my friends. This is Noah Lakshmi with your astrology update. Inspiration to be your best self as we are being our best selves. We definitely elevating humanity for a better world. And uh, this week it's really <laughs> the only, well not the only thing that is happening, but definitely the main event. We, have, we are having or about to have five planets in retrograde. We are already feeling the energy of four planets in retrograde. And tomorrow, April 28th, Mercury is going into retrograde. So we're going to have five planets. Now, ladies and gentlemen, that doesn't happen often. The last time we had five planets in retrograde was about 10 years ago. So it's been a decade which is a great time to, if you can remember where you were 10 years ago and uh, whatever the journey was back then and where you're at today. The whole thing about retrograde energy and this is what I wanna focus on here. I feel that retrograde has gotten such a bad rap and retrograde energy is all about introspection that's what I see, I see it as. It's re uh, introspection being more inward than outward. And when we have five planets, nonetheless, and you guys, we're talking big guns are in retrograde here. We having Pluto in retrograde. Jupiter is has been in retrograde for a while. Mars is in retrograde. Saturn is in retrograde. That's a big one. And then Mercury is going to go into retrograde. And we're going to have five planets in retrograde until Jupiter goes direct May 9th. Now, that is, mark your calendar. That's going to be a big day. And three days after a new moon that we're going to have in Taurus. But we'll get there uh, next week. What's happening right now, though, and why I'm mentioning Jupiter going direct, and it's been months, the introspection energy that those five planets are inviting us to step into is laying down a very strong foundation for a massive expansion that is going to take that is going to take place in your life in all of our lives individually collectively we have been doing a lot of healing work this last few years, we're still having Chiron in Pisces and Neptune is in Pisces and the south node of the moon is in conjunction with Chiron. So there's a lot of purging that has been happening and a lot of stuff, a lot of unconscious stuff as well, buried in the dungeon, has been brought up to the surface and there's a lot of healing that has been done and still happening. And with all this healing, with all this purging, um, there's, there's a new, there's a new, and I, I talked about it last week, new set of values. There's a new ways of operating in the world. There's a new way of the way you even perceive yourself, life, your relationship, your value system. So much has, has, been, has gone through reconstruction and building from the ground up. And so now that we're entering this new phase, we are preparing for a new wave. The only way that we can withhold, um, not withhold, but the only way that we can hold and go with this big wave of expansion is if we have a solid foundation. And the only way to build a solid foundation is through grounded energy. It's through contemplation. It's through discernment. It's through understanding yourself better. And all those things cannot take place if we are all over the place, being pulled in many different directions, not taking time to ourselves, escaping in so many ways, if it's work, if it's socializing too much, if it's social media too much, there's so many ways that we can ex escape and, and not really doing the inner work. And the invitation right now is to slow down. And 
it's many conversations that I've been having in the last few days and the readings that I've been doing and in my own internal world a lot of people are feeling the need to be more quiet, to be more inward, to not socialize too much, to not extend yourself so much. And even so many projects and things that we've been working on have not, like we thought we had a deadline for something and there's all kind of delays. And I want to encourage you to not get caught up in oh shit, it's not going my way kind of thing. And there is that energy of, of maybe wanting to control the way things are flowing and moving. And, um, and, and Mars in the retrograde, there the can be a tendency right now to get really frustrated, to get really irritated, to be very reactionary. Because there's a lot of pain, there's a lot of wounds, there's stuff coming up to the surface. So if you don't take that time, to honor yourself, to be more quiet, to get back to your center, to get back to your med meditative state, to really just again be in your center, it's very easy to lash out, it's very easy to react, and then things get out of hand and things can get more dramatic. And even with the things, maybe projects in your life that you've been wanting to move forward and you may be experiencing some delays, I wanna invite you to trust it. And that's always the case, but especially right now, slow the F down. I've been saying that for weeks and I still see people and even myself, I get into that trap trying to force, trying to move faster than what the cosmos are asking of us right now. And we get into all patterns of I need to move faster, things need to move faster, this relationship needs to move faster, this project needs to move faster, the world is not moving fast enough. Chill the F out. Five planets in retrograde. That is the hugest message and I've been saying this for weeks and I wanna emphasize it even more so because the fifth one is going into retrograde tomorrow. And you're watching it so it's today. Give yourself the next couple of weeks. Jupiter is going to go direct May 9th, new moon, May 6th. We are looking at a whole new cycle of big expansion, turning the light switch on, a lot of manifestations that are going to take place. You want to be ready for it. It's not just about manifesting things. We need to be ready for what it is that we are manifesting. And this is the preparation time. Now, it doesn't mean that during a preparation time, you just sit on your ass being passive and just hide under the covers. It doesn't mean that. I just It just means to slow down, to give yourself more time alone, to meditate more, to contemplate more. It's, it's such a time to really dig deep and find the true meaning of your life and everything that you're doing too. Is it really a truth? The projects that you're moving forward, the relationship that you are engaging in, your belief systems, your beliefs about yourself and your life. Ask yourself, examine everything. Is it really your highest truth? And if it's not, if the answer is no for any of those areas in your life, have the courage to just weed it out of your life. This is the time to do that. 2016 in general is the year of purification. There's so much of that purging going on. The more we resist it, the more painful it's gonna get. The more we join that party of purification and follow the signs, follow the energy, slow down, quiet yourself, quiet your mind, be more alone, be more in nature, connect to mother nature and mother earth more, connect to yourself, connect to your truth, then the journey doesn't have to be painful, miserable, or full of challenges. Yes, a lot of challenges will come up. Like I said, the, the energy of irritation, frustration might be pretty strong right now. And in order for us to not fall into that spiral, to not spiral down and react and, and get really hurt and perpetuating this painful cycle, we need time to integrate. We need time to slow down. We need more 
peace and quiet and not so much socializing. We are in that phase. We slowly but truly moving away from the, the Aries energy. With so much of Aries energy that we experienced a uh, few weeks ago and a month ago. And now the sun is in Taurus and Mercury is in Taurus and retrograding in Taurus. Venus is going to go into Taurus. So there's a lot of beauty and new harmony, new relationships that are coming in. But it's a little bit in a slower pace than what you might are looking for or wanting to see. Again, so I invite you, slow down, slow down the mind. And if there is a desire for things to move faster, bring yourself back to the realization that everything is moving according, according to a bigger plan. And that's the invitation is to develop more of that trust. They, there is a divine plan. There is a bigger plan. We are all playing our part, co-creating this plan. And at the end of the day, there's more than what we are perceiving. So develop more of that attitude and trust this divine plan. And if you are experiencing some challenges, and I know a lot of you are experiencing challenges and a lot of changes and a lot of shifts and relocation and, and relationships are, are either falling apart or having challenges, ride those ways with ease and grace and do that by finding more time for yourself, by honoring the call. If you are feeling that to be more inward, to be more internal, please do so and don't question that. Don't doubt that. Slow down and trust. Know that there is a divine plan for you, everybody in your life. We are all interconnected. And there's this fabric of existence that is moving us, that is bringing us together. And your part, you're playing your part by honoring your truth. And that's why five planets in retrograde, introspection, go inward. What is your truth? What is your truth? Get ready for a big wave, lots of expansion. A lot of things that you've been wanting to manifest are going to just appear just like that. Just be patient. Be patient. Trust yourself. Trust your intuition. And develop your intuition by cultivating more time with yourself. With your inner guide. Your inner guidance. Your inner wisdom. These are crazy times you guys this year is no joke the next few months this spring summer holy tamale and i'll leave you at that i really appreciate you taking the time to observe this information and and listen to the messages that you are receiving maybe this message is one of of those messages that you need to hear if you are interested in a personal reading with me, then please follow the link. My new website is uh, about to be done, and then you can go directly through my website. I'm sending you so, so, so much love, as always. Be courageous, stay awesome, stay beautiful, and I'll see you next time. Be your best self. We are elevating humanity for a better world. I love you. Sat now.